I'm here with Dr. Pietro Michele from the Cranfield School of Management, where he's a senior lecturer. Uh, Pietro and colleagues have been looking at the relationship between designers and managers in the process of new product development. So Pietro, could you begin by telling us something about the, the status and, and development of design in that setting? Um, the first thing is that uh, uh, if you look at design in new product development, it's something that most of us would relate to uh, thinking about uh, products that are elite or kind of luxury goods, uh, like for example cars and uh, furniture and uh, fashion, but in fact design is everywhere. It's in everything that surrounds us, of course in, in our clothes, but it will be on the tables that surround us, our chairs, and uh, anything that, uh, the, any product that surrounds us and any service is designed. And so the importance of design is much more than what we tend to think. Uh, but because it's much more widespread. And the reason why we looked at this is because in new product development we know that collaboration between different functions is fundamental if you want to get higher financial performance. And so we were looking at the interface between designers and managers, particularly marketing managers, because that's where the biggest tensions have been reported from uh, other studies. And so that was our focus of attention. And what sort of tensions did that bring out? What were the difference in, in differences in, per, in perception around design and its value and use? That's right. Um, we found a number of uh, tensions and friction between these different groups. And uh, one, our perspective was uh, uh, looking at language and so how people articulate what they think good design is and what is a good design. And looking at uh, it through a methodology that is taken from psychology, uh, we're looking at what what design, good design means for designers and what good design means for marketers. And we found differences in conceptualizing what it is. They may use the same words, but actually they mean different things. And so our paper is about the means and the ends of design, which means that uh, what creates a good design and what a good design is for is actually different if you talk to a designer and if you talk to a marketer working for the same company. Okay, so what sort of ends would a manager be looking for against what a designer would be looking for? Uh, a manager would be certainly looking at uh, brand, for example, and I mean, from a marketing point of view, this is something that is no surprise. Uh, but at the same time, while the designer would be interested in looking at branding, etc., cetera, uh, it would also be looking at iconic design. And producing iconic design is not necessarily something that a marketer would value as much. And uh, conversely, if you look at the means to that end, uh, the way design uh, is conceived and created in terms of uh, uh, the technology that is used, the materials that are used, the way it, a product is manufactured, is something that is very much at the heart of the way in which product designers uh, do things and think about design, but that's certainly not something that we found in the way in which marketers articulated what good design is for them. Now, you've developed a very useful and practical model inside the article. Could you say, tell us about how the model could be used, how, how it could work, and in particular, I guess, how it enables designers and managers to have a, a similar vision of what's trying to be achieved. Yes. I mean, the first thing is uh, very simply to be aware of the fact that there are different viewpoints. Mm -hmm. And so the people involved in the study, the designers and the managers, uh, had different viewpoints. And uh, although, of course, you would have frictions and tensions, uh, these differences were never really uh, discussed explicitly. And so that's the first thing, being aware of this and be more open about what is important for you as a designer, what's important for you as a marketer. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is actually to have a process view on your product development and understanding that there are different functions that have got to collaborate, but managing those interfaces is fundamental because they will not happen naturally. And then the last thing is, uh, for, from a company point of view, if you want to achieve alignment, strategic alignment, it's very important that we facilitate this process of collaboration again. So not only understanding it, but trying to give incentive, for example, uh, education, and a greater appreciation of what the other functions do, because that's another thing that we found. And a lot of stereotypes that we have about marketers or designers so were definitely there, even though people had been working together for 20 years. Yes, I mean, on that last point, you certainly talk about the creative tension that exists, but perhaps using the model as a way of harnessing that creative That's tension right. rather than it causing a, a divide. That's right. The tension is there and should be there, mm. uh, because otherwise this process of creating and developing new products wouldn't happen. We need different viewpoints, that's for sure. But those different viewpoints have got to be brought together in a management way it's by someone that has gotten the overview of the process as opposed to hoping that it will happen and probably they will not. Mm. And what sort of developments do you think could usefully follow from this? 
Uh, it's more about trying to understand uh, this kind of more fruitful ways of engaging different functions, in this case designers and managers, but it could be also looking at R&D and finance and manufacturing, and trying to look at uh, how those uh, different interfaces could be better managed and what's the consequence in terms of impact on financial performance. Okay, so it'd be worth reading the article just to get a sense of how you can manage that kind of different perspective across different professions engaged in the same project. I hope so. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Pietro. Thank you.